Using clay can get quite expensive if you're using the native clay credits, but in this video, I'll show you how to connect clay to your open API API. So um, when we're having a look at clay and we're doing some enrichments here, you get the option of using the clay shared API key. This would cost me two credits or my own open AI API key. Now I'm on one of the uh, lower plans. I pay uh, the $149 a month. Uh, I think I get around two or 3000 credits a month for this, but I'm able to do a lot in clay for the 149 plan because I'm using my own API key. So how do you find your API key? So first of all, you want to go and set up a, an account in with OpenAI if you haven't already got it. Uh, this is the link that will get you straight to your API key. Now I'm going to create an API key and delete it because I can't blur it out or I'm not using a tool to blur it out. So the first thing I need to do is create a new secret key. I'm going to call it mark test. Now you could just call this clay, create the secret key. I'm going to copy this and then I go back into clay and I'm going to click over here to workplace settings. Then I'm going to go on open API so you can just search open, sorry, open AI or scroll down here and you'll see it eventually, OpenAI. Add API key, you can give it a name, hit the API key, click save, and now you've got your uh, clay connected to OpenAPI. So when you're using their Clayjin or you're using the OpenAPI, OpenAI API integration, you'll be using your credits within a OpenAI. Um, I typically top up around 20 or $50 a month uh, and that covers me for all of the AI usage that I do within Clay. So if you're looking to get started, go to OpenAI. I think you have to credit your account with $20 to begin with, create your API key, connect it to Clay, and then you'll be good to go. All right, cheers.